I think community colleges are the, I don't know, the cherry on the top. CLC is a big part of my life and I'll never like forget it at all. Three, four or five times a semester I'll get a phone call or get an email from a student saying thanks I've used the things that we talked about in this class I appreciate it. We have a jewel here in LA County and so many people don't recognize that. Hi I'm Teresa Hall Bartels and along with my husband Chuck we're the external chairs of the scholarship campaign for the College of Lake County. We'd like to invite you to listen to some stories, stories about students, stories about people who've taken advantage of the opportunity to further their education because of scholarships that have been made available by some of you. We think that education is tremendously important and we hope that you'll consider joining us. So we hope that you enjoy these stories and are, are moved by these stories to consider what you might do to help expand the uh, educational opportunities through college scholarships at CLC. The scholarship it helps immensely. Um, my family, I come from a family of seven kids, so it's a great lift of a financial burden for my parents because school can get expensive and with seven children, you know, providing for seven kids, it can get a little pricey. So it, my parents, once they found out that I could be part of this honors program, they're like, go for it, you can do it, just, and you'll be like great at it. So it's not just because of the you know, the scholarship money, but just the education that I'll receive as well. I really want to study international relations and maybe economics also. I think uh, after college I might want to work, or I might want to go to business school, or apply for a scholarship internationally, like a Fulbright or a Rhodes, and then maybe work for a corporate consulting firm. I've been a stay-at-home mom with kids. I've adopted six children, mostly from infancy. Uh, several of them drug and alcohol exposed. I homeschooled for seven years, so I decided it was time for me to get back into the workforce. I wanted a career that was flexible, and I could go part-time at first. When I met with the counselor here, they said nursing was a good program to get into. I don't like to hide it. I'm actually very proud of the fact that I came back and got my GED. Uh, I wasn't a very good student in high school. Uh, I just didn't prioritize and I uh, kind of dropped out and took a break for about three years and then came back here to CLC. There's a woman named Peggy who helps run the GED program, really kind of inspired me to get involved here and to kind of actually go to college. So I ended up applying here at CLC and kind of turning my life around a little bit. So helped quite a bit. I'm the first in my family to attend college and to have gone as far as I have so far. Hopefully I will inspire my children and grandchildren to attend college. That's why it was important for me to have a career so that I could provide for my family and be a positive role model. One of the favorite aspects of this job is that I get to see how other people work and how they do things and I regularly learn things that I use in my classes. And I'm the lucky lady that was one of the first seven employees of the College of Lake County. I began here in 1968, that's 43 years ago right now. Uh, so I was here for the birth of the college and, uh, and then I was also an employee of the college when the foundation was born. Scholarship Foundation allows me to do my job which is to reach out from students from throughout the community. Uh, CLC has an open door policy. If we have a student who has the, the need and the desire to go to classes, we will find the room, we will find the classes that they need, and we will get them where they want to be. The foundation allows us to do that. They allow us to accomplish our mission of helping the people that come in and want the help. And it's through the money that the foundation receives that a lot of these students finish their degrees. I took students down to Belize to excavate a Maya um, Mesoamerican site. And without the foundation support, we wouldn't have been able to go. It is expensive to run an excavation, and uh, the cost of student tuition would have never covered it. 
I received a diversity scholarship and I was really surprised because it was close to 400, it was 480 for each semester and they paid me for both the semesters and that really came in handy because you know I'm not working so every penny helps. Well I um, applied for any scholarship I could and I did get the academic achievement. The work study along with the scholarship money that all helped benefit my education. If I was talking to a donor I would let them know to help a student move from point A to point B, they need a hand up and not a hand out. Scholarships, they take off that burden, so you have, you have time to focus on what's really important, your education. I would say that I think it's a good investment to give to the scholarship campaign because if you looked at me five years ago, I was a failing student in high school, I was a dropout, I had a lot of problems, but now this, this scholarship and in many ways this school has allowed me to blossom into something which is much greater and with that I can hopefully continue further and just think started five years ago where I am and where I could be in five years and all of that really comes down to people supporting me and the foundation supporting me. While you think, well going to College Lake County costs $3,000, a little over that for tuition, Maybe your books and fees and all that is another thousand or fifteen hundred. So it doesn't sound, compared to a university, like it's a lot of money. But actually for our students, particularly our students who are on financial aid, we know from some of our data that our students on financial aid, their family incomes are really only on median for our college, about twenty-four thousand a year. Well, you know, paying out three or four thousand dollars to go to college, that's a lot of money on that kind of income. So having just even a small scholarship or the kind of scholarship funds and financial aid that can take care of a lot of their financial concerns just lets them focus on learning and on being the good students that they really can be. When I was little I read a lot of science fiction and one of my favorite authors had a saying, uh, pay it, don't pay it back, pay it forward. So I'm really hoping to take this opportunity they've given me and use it to uh, really expand my horizons, get out and do whatever I can to make the world a better, more interesting place. As you've just seen, scholarships can make a huge difference in people's lives. I know it has in mine. I was the first in my family to go to college, and it was made possible because of a scholarship. So I hope that you'll consider how you can help to change lives and make a difference not only for individuals in our community, but also for the health of our community and our workforce.